Hello, welcome back to my perfume. I'm Emily and I'm almost at the end of my Pacifica series. Thank God. I think you guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about Pacifica, but thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I would have been done last week when I posted the all video, but they released a new line, so I'm going through those one at a time. And today I'm going to cover the Silver Moon. This is uh, vanilla almond spice and it's a nice fragrance it has some things about it that I'm not super crazy about I think it smells pretty good on the skin it's a very uh, like close it sits close to the skin there's not a lot of projection so you get um, you know you can wear it in an intimate setting if you'd like when I put it on, I get really reminiscent of uh, Replica by the Fireplace. And I looked up the notes to that and it kind of makes sense that this would be in that vein because that fragrance is vanilla and then in the heart it has chestnut rather than almond, but it's still a nut in the heart. And uh, spices, although they don't like specifically list the spices there are spices in replica by the fireplace as well but the main thing that reminded me of it was when I first sprayed it on my skin it gave me that like you know this is like immediately after you spray it but it smelled like the smell that the campfire leaves on your clothes like three days later like a really faint kind of campfire smell and there's no woodiness there's no woods in this uh, fragrance but by the fireplace has a lot of wood so if you remove the woods from uh, the, that replica fragrance it would be pretty similar to this I think except that this has this has a four hour or so longevity three or four hour longevity the one thing I'm not crazy about probably the most not crazy about is that it's a little bit when it's airborne it's a little like irritating like I've coughed a couple times when it's in the air, but it doesn't bother my skin. I don't get any like reaction or anything or any other issue. It's just like when it's floating in the air, it kind of makes me cough. So that, you know, is something to, to be aware of if that's a problem for you. Now, the thing about perfume reviews is like, everybody has different skin chemistry. So on my skin, something is gonna, you know, do one thing. Whereas on your skin, it might do another, like different notes might get pulled out or... But for me, this is like vanilla, incense -y kind of smoky fragrance. Yeah, that's, um, I'd say it's nice. I'd say it's a, it's a good fragrance if you're looking for something that's unisex. I think this one is probably the most unisex of the bunch um, that they released in this Mood Moods, Moon Moods line, Silver Moon. Uh, but yeah, I think it, you know it's a, it's a decent fragrance. I would I would give it a B since I gave the other ones a grade. I have no song for Silver Moon that I can sing that I know of, so no singing on this video. But um, the, I would say it's a decent fragrance, and if that sounds good to you, something like Replica by the Fireplace, but without the woodiness, which makes it you know I don't know maybe a little bit less masculine but I don't really get I get kind of a unisex vibe from by the fireplace too because of the vanilla probably and the balancing there but yeah it's nice um, a little bit like campfirey but not in a bad way in a nice way I think with the spices and the, the almond so that is silver moon and thank you for tuning in please subscribe and like this video if you haven't done the subscription thing that would be awesome and I will see you in my next one take care bye bye